President, do I see you. Mr. President? You you remember Dana? I sure do. Hello. Yeah. And we have a few people here that I'd like to you know, meet. Steve Matthews is my executive assistant. How are you, sir? He's been very instrumental. Brad, you know, Steve, of course. How are you? How are you? Okay. And Mark Levin has been my chief of staff. He has done a great job. And you remember Carol Helene when she worked here. And of course, Kathy. Yes. Hello. Nice to see you. Well, want to do a family photo and then, right. then include, be, incorporate everyone? That would be very nice if we did. Terrific. Always prettier than the ladies. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we are red and green today. Okay. Thank you. Good. Well, and then uh, maybe we can get one yes. group shot we'll with everybody. Every, yeah. With the entire group. Right. You want the family in that too? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you put the sure. two reds on yeah. either side? And we'll, okay. Well, why don't you stand right. in the... Here, I'll, I'll stand like this. There. All right. And get the rest of you guys. Let's get some of you over here. Basic black. Get in here, too. And we get everybody to smile, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Right. Yeah. Just a few souvenirs and advance departure. Well, thank you. souvenir of the Oval Office. These are key rings with the seal on them. Thank you very much. Everybody has keys. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. I guess we'll have a few things to say in there, but I just want you to know how much I appreciate this chance for these people to be with you. I've known you as an ally, an advisor, and uh, most of all as a trusted friend. And you've served your country and our administration well and faithfully from its first day. I should say even before our first day because it was you, Ed, who made possible the best planned presidential transition our country has known. And in your tenure here at the White House, you provided leadership to our policy team as we set out on a momentous voyage to put this country back on the right course after a period of malaise. That was the word for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, over the past three years, we've looked to you in the words of the oath of office many of us here have taken to see that the laws are faithfully executed. Your record at the helm of the Justice Department is one in which we can all take pride. Whether it is fighting illegal drug trafficking or international terrorism or recruiting sound judges to the bench, you've set new standards of accomplishment. And of course, we haven't missed seeing you over here at the White House. You've chaired over 125 meetings of the Domestic Policy Council. And if you weren't busy enough already, you took on the chairmanship of the National Drug Policy Board. Ed, I'll miss you across from me at the cabinet table, but I don't plan to say farewell because I know you won't be far away and I intend to continue relying on your, on your counsel. I can't stop without saying something that I know all of you are aware of. You've been through a hell on wheels here recently and I always go to bed feeling guilty about that for you and the others because ever since we've been here, there's been a lynch mob in action. And they pick somebody out and they go after them. And um, I know it's in an effort to get here at the whole administration that they're doing that, so I feel guilty about it and that you have to take that punishment. But it follows on. There was a very fine Secretary of Labor, Harry Donovan, and all of a sudden he was gone and then found totally innocent of every charge that had been raised. And then there was Jim Beggs at NASA 
in the same thing and found totally innocent. But then I've always figured that most lynch mobs aren't hanging the right people anyway. <laughs> They're just in it for the, for the hanging. But, uh, you've got a record there in the Justice Department that tops anything that the Justice Department has been able to boast about for many, many years. And in a number of different fields, whether it was going declaring war on the Mafia as you did and bringing them up, more settling of cases of discrimination, than any other administration or any other just Department of Justice under other administrations has ever done. And it goes on down the line with all of those. So I was glad last night on television to see uh, you and some of your folks getting together yesterday morning. And I think it was wonderful and it was due to you. And I just want to thank you and Ursula from the bottom of my heart. God bless you and your family. Well. think of, uh, of a better way to uh, end my service uh, to the federal government right now than those kind words of yours to be here uh, in the Roosevelt Room with, with this group of friends. Uh, you talk about the things that happen in the Justice Department. The people who really made it happen are the people that are here, the heads of our various components who've done such a great job. And uh, with us are our friends. Very pleased to see the Vice President. So many of my fellow cabinet members here <laughs> later on. <laughs> but I just want you to know that, as always, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve you. Uh, you came to this office uh, uh, with a very definite idea of what you wanted to do. Uh, the campaign, the transition, and then uh, what you've achieved over seven and a half, uh, going into eight years. Uh, you never wavered from what you wanted to do, and you let us know what it was. And I think all of us who had a hand in helping you with that I feel extremely grateful for that opportunity. But the best part about it, quite frankly, uh, was the people I got to work with, starting with you, but extending through this group, my fellow cabinet members, the people I worked with here in the White House, the friends on the outside who were so supportive. But you mentioned uh, the tough times uh, that we have gone through. Uh, admittedly, there were occasional uh, slings and arrows that have been thrown my way. Uh, but the one thing that enabled Ursula and Dana, Mike and Ramona, and me to get through it was your unwavering support. I don't think anybody has ever had a more loyal and a more supportive friend. For that, I'm very grateful. So to you and to all of these friends, I just want to say thank you. This is a party now, and there's all the makings for a pretty good party. <laughs> and then I never had any problem about who was right and who was wrong. That's one thing about Hollywood. You always knew who played the bad guys and who played the bad guys. <laughs> Thank you. Well, George, what are you doing back here? <laughs> I'm late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you get in on the tail end? Oh, well, thank you. Heard all that. I know I can't stay and say hello to so many of you and to old friends as I would like to, but uh, I'm going to turn you loose now to get at that. That's the only part I shouldn't participate in. <laughs> Thanks again, Mr. Well, President. Listen, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. How are you? Okay. Thank you. Are you? Start.